What's going on YouTube and welcome back to our channel here at Vagabond Builds and today we're bringing you another walk around review video of the 2024 Porsche Cayenne and we're going to be talking about the exterior, interior and specs about this exact car. But before we do, because it is not a sponsored video, we truly need and appreciate you guys' support here at Vagabond Builds. There are two buttons we'd like you guys to push in. Tap that like button, subscribe to our channel. Also, if you have something for us to film, here's our email below. Email us and we can talk details later. A special shout out and a thanks to Nilo Porsche here in Rockland, California for providing us this beautiful 2024 Porsche Cayenne for this walk around review. Keep watching and stay tuned because we are dropping that MSRP sticker so you guys get an idea of exactly what comes on this car and the price tag on top. Now let's go ahead and talk Porsche Cayenne. So now let's kick this walk around review video off with talking about what we have under this hood. Now on a basic uh, entry level Porsche Cayenne, which this is pretty much it, you get the 3.0 liter turbocharged V6 in a eight speed automatic transmission, standard all wheel drive, that gives you 348 horsepower with 368 pounds feet of torque. Now again, you do have the options of getting a plug-in hybrid that also meets an electric motor with the V6 turbocharged, along or you can get the s which is literally the bigger horse in the barn and that pushes your horsepower and torque up to check out our other video and you'll find those numbers out but let's go ahead and talk some mpg about this exact car 17 city 23 highway and a 19 combined 23.7 gallon gas tank size if we come over to the side of this porsche cayenne you will see that the dimensions on this car is 194 inches in length 78 inches in width and 67 inches in height Total towing capacity on this exact car is about 6,250 pounds on this Porsche Cayenne. Now, again, numbers do range depending on which drivetrain you do have. Okay, so now 2024, just wanna give you guys an update. We did have a exterior and interior refresh. And if you aren't too inclined with the whole machinery or the looks on the cars, Literally, you probably might not see it, but again, I see it because I'm a Porsche fan and I love the new front ends. What do we see different? We're gonna get different lighting. Want you guys to pay attention to that. Also, the more squared off front end, everybody. Pay attention to the 2023 had more of a curved front end to where this kind of has a more Lego look to the front end. Beautiful, but the design on it itself is just nice. The piano black gloss, matte black plastic. You got that matte black plastic down here with that air vent or the air coming in for that active air vent for your radiators. Cool, and the Porsche emblem with the nice cuts in that hood, giving it a sportier look. Coming over to the side, parking marker and your bumper cover. Your wheel well trim is painted the same color as the car itself. So that's one thing I do like that Porsche does is because it gives it more of a richer feel on this car. Now let's talk some tires. Remember, different Cayennes will have different rims, different trims will have different rims, so pay attention to that. You have a dual color rim here with a, uh, it's the black gloss on the inside, machine surface silver on the outside, and they're running Bridgestones uh, tires, and they are the Alenzas Sport All Season tires. And the size of this exact tire is a 285-45-21. Now, if you look at the shock and strut suspension, you do have that. But again, your control arms and things are different on this exact car or Porsche in general because it's a sportier ride and a more comfortable ride than your average SUV. Coming forward, the side mirror does come blind spot assist, integrated blinker lighting. Now, you don't have the front cameras on the, sorry, you don't have the front camera or the side cameras on the side mirror. Again, being more of the basic entry level. You do have the keyless fob entry. Wanted to show you the door, what it looks like. No trim on the door. And then the rocker panel area has that matte black plastic to match that front end, okay? Now, you got the black gloss going around the windows. Up top, you have the black gloss roof rails. Coming back here now, also, you wanna keep an eye out if you do have a Porsche Cayenne, you have the option of getting the coupe look, which is going to be more of a sport back look and it kind of cuts out out of that trunk area. This is more of the full size uh, five-seater SUV here at Porsche. Now, up top, you got the 
uh, spoiler with the integrated brake lighting, the wiper for your back window. Now this is different from the 2023 over to the 2024, that light bar, okay, is a different shape compared to the 2023. Porsche in that 3D lettering or Porsche. Coming down, you have a backup camera with a washer right over that license plate. Parking sensors or backing up sensors for that lower side of that bumper cover. And that whole area here is that kind of matte black plastic with your dual tip exhaust, one on each side, your parking reflectors, okay? Now let's go ahead and enter the trunk. Automatic tailgate, very convenient. You don't have to lift that on your own. But let's go ahead and talk some cargo area for the people who'd like to know. Now, if we have the uh, second row seats up, you get about 27 cubic feet of space. If we're to drop this second row seats down, you get a whopping 60 cubic feet of space here in the back. Now, we're gonna show you guys that one more on the interior side of the car. But again, you got some pockets here on the left with this mesh net, that true light lighting. You don't got that soft yellow. You got a spare tire and your tire situation. Your Bose premium sound sub, Loving that, that they put that premium Bose sound. I've always been a fan of the Bose sound system. And then your trunk cover, just so nobody is peeking at your guys' belongings. Let's go ahead and shut this tailgate. Now that we're pretty much done talking about exterior, some specs and cargo, let's go ahead and talk interior. So now let's talk interior of the Porsche, Ky Porsche uh, Cayenne entry level let's say now take a load or get a load of this new look with the three digital screens one here one here and one here and the steering wheel beautiful look with the leather wrap the perforated look the black gloss just amazing feel inside this porsche cayenne but let's go ahead and start bringing you this interior with starting with the door panel okay so on the Driver's side, you get up to three memory seating settings, unlock lock button, got a matte black handle. Sometimes you'll see kind of a metallic silver depending on the color combo inside the car. You have the window regulator with your controls to your side mirrors. Now these side mirrors do come automatic foldable. I'll show you guys that, how that looks. Let's go and fold them out again. And you could also open up your tailgate button right here. These are your tailgate buttons, sorry, to open and close. And then also if you go ahead and click the back to window reg regulator switches twice, it'll literally pop open the sun visors, okay? Now on the left-hand side of this electric steering column, you have your lighting buttons. So these are manual, so you would go ahead and press those and you can turn off and on your lights. Next to it is your rear light uh, vents, very, or, I mean, not horizontal, sorry, vertical placed, start and engine stop, just like Porsche, you know that you're starting your car on the left-hand side of that steering column. The steering wheel with the drive modes to go in and out, and you will see switching there. You go from normal sport to sport plus, okay? And then you have your controls here on the right-hand side to control that screen. Now let's go ahead and show you guys what that looks like, okay? Now you can make it full navigation. You could also, throw some dials in there. On the left-hand side, you have your miles per hour gauge, and then what's going on with your temperature, your battery, and all that stuff. If you keep going, you throw in another RPM gauge there with the miles per hour uh, digit, and then you have your straight to the point uh, or your regular look from Porsche, okay? That is also a very cool thing. I like the full navigation look, so I'm gonna leave it there. Now, this screen itself is 12 point six inches all right full digital if we come over to the infotainment screen it is a 12.3 inch screen and then if we come over to the passenger side screen this is a 10.9 inch screen okay so it just kind of gets smaller as we go across that dashboard you also have a different toggle switch here in 24 parking button your uh, reverse neutral and drive uh, toggle switch the controls for your windshield wipers on the right the signal lighting here on the left, and then your cruise control on the bottom left, right behind that steering wheel. Now, let's go ahead and show you a little bit about this screen here. Navigation, we could also go full navigation onto that screen, wanted to show you that as well. And if we go ahead and Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, 
you uh, have that here, we can go ahead and switch or slide up on that screen. Could go ahead and show you a little bit about the media, tells you who's playing and all that. Go ahead, go back to home. And then you can kind of cut your screen into three, navigation, connect your phone, and then you got your media and all that good stuff. But if you do he head down to Rockland, California, Nilo, Porsche, they have great guys that will sit there and spend their time with you on the ins and outs of this car. Moving forward, if we go ahead and slide that uh, little cap up by pushing up, now you have two USB-C ports, a wireless charging pad here. All right, close that. Then you have your temperature controls for your dual climate control for your manual buttons. Wanted to show you guys what that looks like. Then we go ahead and put that on, drop the vent. And then you have your heated seats for your front right and left, your defrosters, and this is your media switch. Some personal space for like a chapstick or some change, 12 volt outlet in between two nice big deep cup holders. Shout out to Porsche because the Europeans are finally getting their cup holders right. Your personal cubby room, not too big, but just enough for things that are personal like your wallet and things of that sort. Up top, you have the tilt and slide sunroof option, which is huge, I might ask, and an electrical controlled sun visor, all right? Look how big this thing is, honestly. Close that. And then you have that true light lighting, wanted to mention that as well, so you guys can see that because I'm not a fan of that old soft yellow look anymore, all right? Now in front of the passenger seat, both these seats do come heated and they have the sport uh, extension for your legs. They all leather uh, trimmed with perforated look and then electric controlled on both, okay? In front of that passenger seat, you have a lockable glove compartment because sometimes people ask me if it's lockable or not. And then again, you have also your tech. You can go ahead and drop navigation for that. So the passenger is totally inside what's going on inside the car, okay? Now that we're pretty much done of talking what's on the front of this interior, let's go ahead and talk second row seating. So now this is what the cargo area looks with that full 60 cubic feet of cargo area from the rear doors over to the tailgate. Now you can fit dishwashers, bikes, snowboards, and whatever back here. It's just a lot of room. Now let's go ahead and lift this seat. You can control this seat to be a 60% or a 40-20, okay? So you can go ahead and drop this middle piece as a single. Car seat compatibility, check. Let's go ahead and jump inside this car, lift this up. All right, now you can change the angles. Wanted to show you guys that, that the angles to this back uh, backrest on this bench can go more kind of upright or you can drop the angle to get a bit more comfort, all right? Let's go ahead and drop this back. <clears throat> now, sitting here, I'm about six feet, two inches, all right? Now, leg room is completely there with your head clearance, so you're not worrying about if us tall people here in the back aren't gonna be comfortable, we are totally comfortable. In front of us, what do we see? We get a hard back front seat, the headrest, on the two front seats do uh, are controlled going forward and back. I want to show you guys from this angle because it's just a little bit more visual. Now in front of us also we have the mesh pockets for our personal belongings and in between those two front seats you have the dual climate control for back rows. Also the heated seats, all right? So same look and same ways to control from the front also to the back. 12 volt, two USB-C plug-ins so nobody's fighting and some more personal cubby room. On the door panel itself, you do have the sun visors that are electric controlled, all right? And before you open up that door, you'd have to close that sun visor, sorry, before you open up that window, you have to drop the sun visor and then you can open up the window, okay? So unlock lock button, dropping down, you have personal cubby room for a uh, cup, cup or whatever you guys want to drop back here. Bose premium sound system and pretty much the same look overall with the inlays and that black gloss and the silver coming back here as well. Up top, get the O snap handles to the right and the left. This glass comes all the way over to the backrest so you're getting that full kind of glass feel once that visor is open. Wanted to pay, uh, point that out to you guys. So 
Now we're pretty much done with this walk around review video. Now, if you guys do have any comments, questions, concerns, leave in the comment section below. We'll try to get back to you guys as best as possible. Thanks guys for watching our channel. But here's the MSRP sticker as promised so you guys get an idea of what comes on the car with the price tag on top. Now guys, we are done. Thank you so much. Keep watching. We have more cool things coming. God bless.